All right, on to the gas line portion of this Generlink and generator install. And I've got this line back here that is just a straight 12 inch piece. I'm going to take that out and put in this guy that I made. It's now got a union because they didn't put the other one in with a union. I really wish they would have. And I got my shutoff valve and everything's the right length and measurements. Sorry, it's gonna be a little loud because the air conditioner keeps cycling on and off. It's really hot today. But uh, if you're not comfortable with plumbing and gas lines and pressure and that, probably ought to have a plumber do this, but this is what I'm putting in with this gas shutoff valve. And then my adapter for my gas line is going to go in the bottom of there when we move on to that step. We get started by taking off this union and that bottom union and taking that piece out and going from there. So this honestly ended up being a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. I had to cut out this piece of pipe and put in a union because it wasn't done correctly before. And I put a ball valve to shut off the gas line because honestly this should only be on if I'm using it. Put a ball valve to shut off the gas line and then there's the coupler for my new hose that goes to my Furman generator and it's got a 25 foot line which is perfect for what I need and I'll put a link to the to the hose that I bought but it actually worked out great it just I didn't get a lot of video of the process because a lot more fun than I thought it was gonna be but I have since tested with soapy water and a smell tester on all these fittings got it all put in here I might hit it with some more gray spray paint just to clean it up a little bit so it doesn't rust I didn't do that originally but uh, I like to keep it looking nice but all in all a slick setup and I'll be able to just run my quick connect in here that's off my generator into that and turn that gas line on and we'll have natural gas to that line and this is a three-quarter inch supply line that goes to a half inch out here because it's a half inch supply line to the generator so it just made sense to keep it that same length and I had to do three-quarter for the other intersection that I had 